So your first uh, assignment after coming back. Uh, it is. So how what how is the feeling coming back? Well, excited. Looking forward to it. And as you said, I had a uh, stint with them from 2010 to 2013. Then went to Australia for five years, and was sort of like even at the press conference, someone was asking what made you come back, mm -hmm. and I told him like. Once you've been in this environment, like the high performance environment, after a while you start to sort of miss it. And I'm pretty sure you must be feeling the same way as a, as a player who has been at the highest level. Like once you're out of it, you sometimes start to feel or miss it. So mm -hmm. that made me sort of apply for the job, and I was lucky enough to get it. Okay. What has changed in your first assessment since your last stint? Well, I would say the players who were with me, I mean, uh, I was given a squad of 24 players uh, who was in the national pool. And out of the 24, I think about 20 girls were still there mm -hmm. from the time I left. Mm -hmm. And there were about four or five girls who were new. But I do recall them being in the system as like young development uh, group. Uh, to be honest, I think, and I've been telling them as well, I, I feel like their skill levels, their tap, like, uh, maturity is a lot more than what when I left. Mm. So I would say their skill levels have really improved. Mm. It's just that I know okay, So what has the preparation been like since you took over? It has been pretty good. So we had uh, a camp in Goal for the last five days. Okay. And prior to that uh, we had, I've been, I've been here only for three weeks. Like I, I arrived on the 15th of August. So mm. In that three weeks, the preparation has been really good. I mean, they were trained under specialized coaches until uh, my arrival here. So they were doing a lot of uh, individual one-on-one -on -one stuff with them. And since we formed the pool, we've been having a lot of uh, squad training and as well as one-on-one -on -one training. So I'm pretty happy with the preparation and I think they are ready to go. What areas have you been focusing on in those three weeks? Well, my assessment was that uh, we were sort of lacking in our batting because our bowling has been always, I would say, good or better than our batting. So I have been working a lot with the batters and also on our fielding, mm -hmm. which I felt was a bit lacking uh, from what it was. Okay, you think three weeks is enough time? No, no. I don't think three weeks, weeks is enough. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a long process, but at least if we can change things around. Uh, I mean, I think it's, even for a player, it's, it's just like one inning which can really turn, turn things around for, 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 a, for a person or a player. So it's, it's similar to a, to a team. It's just that we need to start winning games and building that confidence in the players uh, that they are supposed to be reckoned with. What about the fitness levels? What is your assessment when you came in of the fitness levels? I would say that they are far better than what they used to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got specialized uh, trainers working with the team. So the fitness levels are pretty high. And in fact, like we, actually had to leave uh, about three girls out of the squad because they didn't pass the test. Oh, so okay. we are pretty serious about, oh, SLC is pretty serious about the fitness levels. So you also have a yo-yo test? Yeah, we do. With yeah. a uh, cut-off mark? Yes, we have. So What's 16. the cut mark? 16.1 is uh -huh. our cut-off mark. Which is the same as the Indian men's team. Yep. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we actually left, left, had to leave three girls out because they didn't make that cut-off mark. Okay, who are these three girls? Uh, Yashoda Mendes. Uh -huh. But again, they, they were carrying injuries and they could not sort of perform the test to the best of their ability. Right. So, Yasho the Mendes was one of them and one of the key players who did well in the Asian Games, mm. or the Asia Cup, mm. and uh, Sherina Ravikuma, who was a part of the 2013 World Cup team, mm -hmm. who was making a comeback. So, those okay. are the two key players that we were looking at. Mm -hmm. But they might join us uh, in for, for the T20 format. Uh, right. Flashback to 2013 World Cup. Okay. Mm, tell us something about uh, the dressing room during that tournament. Well, I, I, there's a funny story. Mm. I would say a couple of funny stories. We'd like to so, hear them all. <laughs> <laughs> One was when I think we played England in our first game, and that was played on the 14th of February, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And that, that is the day our captain Shashi Kala's birthday. Oh, okay. And I recall going to the press conference and Charlotte Edwards, who was the English captain that time, getting bombarded with all the questions about how they're going to retain the World Cup 
and what sort of preparation that they had, things mm -hmm. like that. And they had only one question for Shashikala, mm -hmm. which was, how do you feel to be born on the 14th of February on Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> so oh that was the only question that they had for her. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that sort of made them realize that that's, that's how, how World Cricket was looking at us. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to express themselves, they wanted to make an impact. Right. And another story before the Indian game, before we start asking about it, uh, I was in the lobby, it was a day night game, mm -hmm. so I was in the lobby reading a paper. I don't know whether Mithali Raj has mentioned this or not. Mm -hmm. Some reporter has asked, written that Mithali has mentioned that, uh, I mean, India had to win that game yeah. to get to the Super 6. Yeah. And uh, like he has asked whether it's ever going to be a tough game or not. And I can't exactly remember what, what, uh, what, what the response was. So as I said, I don't know whether she said this or not, but mm -hmm. it was written. And she has said like uh, it's going to be an easy game, uh -huh. and they were going to win, and was very confident getting to Super Six. So I kept this with me. Uh, went to the dressing room just before the start of the game, mm -hmm. uh, and before we went went to the before the trainer took them out for their warm up, I just got everyone together and I just read this article. I said, "This is what the Indian captain thinks of you." What do you what are you, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> and they were pumped after that. <laughs> okay. So I mean, as a mentor, you have to use those things. Uh, as I said, I don't know to this date whether Mithali made that comment right, or not. Right. So, but yeah, that was on the paper. Okay. 